You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for me to play with some silly sludge and check it out and see what it's all about. Look some of your to a lot of the other slimes we've done, but we'll check it out. It says, uh, watch it drop, watch it ooze, safe and non-toxic, stretch it, pour it, and it's in this Dr. Wacko's Silly Sludge container. Good thing on the bottom left there. Let's see at the back. Let's see. Any Can we get any more information on here? Not a food product. Do not eat. May stick to or stain fabric, wood, carpet, and other surfaces. Watch it ooze. All right. Let's check this thing out. I'm excited when I get to try some kind of new putty or slime. This was hanging in the cereal aisle at a grocery store. One of those impulse buys. So you know, It's one of those things, you know. You always wonder where we get this stuff, but kind of like you're walking through a store, or I am, and I see something, or LPS Jim sees something, and we say, you know, would they like to see that kind of stuff in a video? Would that make a good video? You know, that's one of the main questions. And usually putties and similar are always cool to look at, just to see, you know, we'll make the impulse buy, and then you can determine if you like it or not. And this stuff is kept now. This will be kept with other putties for... Later videos, comparison videos. It's a Jaru. Ah, see? So we had some other Jaru putties. They must be labing. Ooh, cool. Let me just. Ooh, there's an air bubble in there already. See, that's cool stuff. For some reason, black is cool. Let me just ooze it out real slow. Oh, and it feels cold to the touch. That's neat. Let me do, let me ooze it out again. Now it's not affecting my tabletop because that is a plastic. So let me just do that again. That's always so cool to see. Ooze out. It's like an ink blot, you know, pouring ink out. You see those fake ink blots? Let me stretch it. Okay, it says drop it. Okay. We drop it. Let's just drop it here and see. Ooh, cool. It's like a splatter. An ink splot. Oh, let's do let's do an ink splot test and see what it looks like to you. Here we go. I'll just drop my ink blot. That looks like a oozing blob. Okay, good. Ooh. That looks like a oozing blob. All right. Let's do another one. Uh, same thing. That is cool. So what I'll do now is just kind of start it there, and I'll just let the camera roll here and see as it slowly oozes out. See that? It's moving very slow. But it's getting bigger and bigger. Let me hold it up here a little bit. And just uh, watch it just ooze and slime around. Let me stick it back in the can. Now it is a, it is a little thinner than I'm used to for other slimes. So it doesn't make noise like, oh, it makes a little bit of noise, but look, it rips and pulls apart real easy. So it doesn't hold together to make the sounds you would normally get when you do that. Ooh, that was cool. So I don't know about you, but it's like the more you play with something, the more you experiment, the more cool things you can experience. You gotta just kinda do different things and silly sludge. I'm trying to get it to land right in there. Ooh, cool. This one's neat. And it does the job for me. See, it entertains me for a little while. It'll probably entertain you. Silly sludge. Stretch it. Pour it. Dump it. Alright, there you go. 
we have more on the way. Little pieces on my hands here, see that? The Dr. Wacko's Silly Sludge. And thanks for watching. Again, we have a ton of different kinds of putties and slimes and well, just crazy stuff. Check the channel there uh, by searching or look in the description. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.